A new Missouri law taking effect today involves homeowners associations and chickens. In our legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen's Andrea McNary about what's changing. A lot of neighborhood discussions going on about this, Andrea. Uh, what does the law here, this new law, I guess, that's been passed, say about uh, homeowners associations and chickens? Yes, next door apps everywhere are going crazy. So there was a House bill signed by the governor in July, effective August 28, 2024, basically prohibiting homeowners associations from passing deed restrictions or covenants or any other kind of agreement that says homeowners cannot have chickens. Now there's some limitations on that on you can only have up to six chickens on a lot that is two tenths of an acre or larger um, and in some other uh, you know, restrictions associated with that. But basically it keeps homeowners associations from from prohibiting chickens. What about the local, you know, the community you live in, the city you live in, the municipality, uh, can they uh, still restrict what you can do? So they can, and that's what's going to make things really interesting. So while the HOAs may not be able to, any local ordinance uh, may. So, uh, you know, for instance, Wentzville allows the keeping of up to eight chickens in some circumstances. Um, some municipal municipalities have no regulations, but this is not going to prohibit local ordinances or um, state ordinances from actually setting rules on whether chickens are allowed or how many. If you are considering having chickens in a residential area, I guess, what are some of the considerations you should keep in mind? So again, this new law does not apply to local cities, towns, um, or or any other local regulations. So you'll want to check out uh, if there are any regulations where you live. Another thing is people have very strong opinions on this subject. So you might want to consider, even if you are within your legal rights, how this is going to affect uh, your relations with your nearby neighbors. Uh, consider the potential no noise and odor and, and space requirements. And then, you know, finally, practical considerations. Um, you want to make sure that you can have a well-maintained coop and proper fencing and regular cleaning um, just for safety reasons and, and health reasons. Hot topic right now. Andrea McNary, thanks for the insight to, to the law, keeping us up to date on everything we need to know. We appreciate your time as always. You're welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. You can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.